What's poppin' yo, it's your boy Don P. Here on the Celebrity Reflection, man. We had a sea day today. Uh, we're on the third day of the cruise. And I uh, wanna share with you guys about my experience out here at Coco Cay uh, yesterday. On, and uh, I gotta say, man, things have changed. Um, with Coco K from the last time I went there. I went there <clears throat> back in 20, 2022. In September of 2022, I went to Coco K. And, uh, and, uh, and it was, it, it, I, I mean, it was dope, man, when we went over there. This time around, man, um, they did some changes at Coco K where <clears throat> uh, Royal has expanded the uh, the area they created uh, what they call it, the hideout which is like a VIP area and the uh, and that you gotta pay extra to go in the uh, that's why it's, it's called VIP so they got the they, 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 they uh, put together that area and uh and they decided that uh, to take the DJ and move it to that area and just make it exclusive to that area. So um, when I went, when I when we went over there in September of 2023, you know the main pool, like the main area, they didn't <clears throat> they didn't have the hideout area. <clears throat> they didn't have the hideout area, so they the the DJ was. We had a DJ in the main pool, and it was jamming, man. It was like they they had a DJ that had some dancer in me. It was it was like a party atmosphere? It was dope. But this time around, they took that and put it only in the highway, hideaway, or whatever they call it, the VIP area. So throughout the whole time we were in the main pool, we was treated to just regular music like you know that plays whatever play whatever it was playing around the around the place that's what we was listening to we didn't we didn't have no no other music but you know regular resort like style music you know no dj so we didn't we were missing that party atmosphere that i experienced before um it just wasn't there. It just wasn't there, man. Um, so I'm pretty disappointed about that. Uh, as far as the food goes, man, if you ever go to Coco K, you know, you got a lot of <clears throat> you got a lot of uh, YouTubers out here, man, um, that like to uh, tell lies, you know. And I understand that everybody test buds is different. But there are certain things that are horrible, no matter what your test bows are, you know what I mean? So, and I understand, I'm not a travel agent, so I get it. You know, you're a travel agent, you, you're trying to upsell a, a product, and you can't, like, you can't really be brutally honest, because at the end of the day, how you gonna sell, uh, uh, how you gonna sell a, a Royal Caribbean or a celebrity uh, cruise that includes Coco K if you're brutally honest? You see what I'm saying? But I'm not a travel agent, so I can care less. Um, the food at at the place is not that great, man. Uh, um, very limited choices. They had uh, barbecue chicken, which just tasted like like boiled chicken and they just threw some barbecue sauce on it at the, at the end of the product, whatever. <clears throat> then um, the burgers was not that great. Um, well, I didn't try the burgers there though, but I did eat burgers somewhere else. I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit. Um, the, um, what else did I had there? I had the chicken. I think I had a hot dog. It was it was okay, um, and uh, 
the hot tacos, uh, you know, to get you tortilla, and they had some, they had diff three different meats, like chicken fajitas, steak fajitas, and, and carnitas, which is like pork fajitas, if you want to call it that. Um, and uh, and that's what I, uh, I made a, a chicken taco myself, and that's about it, man. That's that's the end of that. Some fruits and corn on the cob. That's it. That's pretty much it. Um, it was the selection wasn't there, bro, it, and it wasn't that great. But um, Coco K does offer another place to eat, which is called the 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 shack. The shack something, um, uh, and uh, there they give you. Uh, they got a, sh a chicken sandwich there, uh, like a bread and chicken chicken sandwich, and they have burgers there, and they got um, they offer uh, cheese sticks, and they uh, so and they got what they call like funnels, funnels or something like that. Okay, so. The food in that particular area was 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 pretty good, but it was better than the buffet that they had that was that I mentioned er, uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, the the food. So if you ever go to Coco K, man, go to the shack, the shack joint, uh, where they got the chicken sandwich and they got the you know and they got the the cheese sticks. The food there is it's a lot better, man. You know, it's just a lot better. Just go there. You 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 enjoy that more. Um, but that's the, you know it's, it's it's like I say, man. I'm, I'm, uh, the the food is not that great, and it's it it, bec it has become a shield place. Now, if if you want to have that party atmosphere and you you wanna you wanna have some fun like that, then you have to pay for it by buying the pass to the Hathaway and, and that give you access to a, a more party atmosphere, uh, the DJ and all that, man. Um, or you can purchase the pass for the water park uh, and just do the rise, the slides and all that. Um, but if you don't want to spend any more money, um, like, I, like I said before, the main pool is just going to be uh, a pretty much relaxing day. Uh, I enjoy it, but I was disappointed at, at the same time because I wanted, I was really looking forward having a little bit of that party atmosphere like before where you get there early, you relax, DJ comes in like around one o'clock, 12, 12, 12 noon, and the party start pump, uh, popping and it gets lit. And I was, I was hoping, I was waiting for that experience. And I didn't get it, but that is so good, man. Um, the um, we came back to the ship. Um, we went to the, you know, we we, we we got ready. Went to the main diner. Now my experience, the second day on the main diner, man. Uh, the food was really good, bro. I, I ain't I ain't gonna front. I had the the tea, what they call the tea tea bone lamb. And, and it was it was it was really good, man. The potatoes, like it, it was really nice, man. It was it was excellent. I can I can I can front, man. The food was really good um, at the main diner. Um, and then later on, I went to the buffet, and they had this um, steak, uh, um, steak six uh, kebabs. Um, you know, pieces of steak in a stick. Um, we call it pinchos in Spanish, and that was delicious, man. I, I mean, that was that steak, man. That that melts in your mouth, man. It was really, really good, bro. Um, I ain't on the front, man. So overall, man, the food yesterday was really good. I, the yesterday was a pretty good day, man. I ain't, I ain't on the front, man. Like we went to the, they had the. The white party, they call it the, the full moon party or the moon party or something like that. Or, uh, the, the white moon party, I think they call it. 
uh, and it was lit, man. It was it was nice. Um, the uh, then we went to the sky, which is it turns into the club after midnight, and the club was lit, man. I was very surprised, man. I was very surprised when you look at videos of this ship. You see the same old same old people like you know. He's showing you uh, old people and uh, people complaining about the ship be for old people. Dude, that's not the, that's not the case anymore, man. This 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 is, I'm on, this is May 2024. I'm telling you right now, on May 2024, that's not the case anymore, man. The the, the it, it it reminds me a lot of the 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 people and the atmosphere. It reminds me a lot of uh, Norwegian sky, you know, a lot of Norwegian sky, uh, but with better food and the entertainment not as good um, as far as, like we went to see a show called the Isil Elysium. It wasn't good, man. Uh, it, it wasn't good. Uh, I, I I I almost I almost got up and left. I, I just I, if I had something else going, I I, w I would have stayed the whole show, man. It was, it was that bad. Um, but other than that, man, um, um, the club was lit. The food was great yesterday. I had a good day, man. Um, look, man, if if you want to go on celebrity reflection and do the the four day cruise, go to Coco Cay. By all means, man, do it, man. It's, it's it, the crowd. It, the average age of crowd is between 20, 25 to uh, to about sixty, man. You know that's the average, and, and that's a lot of people, man. Like um, a lot of people with that kind of like the party atmosphere. Um, you get that a little bit of that party atmosphere, not as wild as carnival, but just it's there. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, like I said, it's just like Norwegian, you know. Um, we had breakfast yesterday. Breakfast is really good, man. I, like I say, man, I, um, I'm about to heat go breakfast now. Um, no complaints, man. The coffee at the uh, Cafe El, El, El Basio, Le Code El Basio, is Spanish is Basio. Uh, El Basio, is, is the coffee there is really good, bro. If you're a coffee drinker, man, uh, go there and have coffee, man. It's, it's worth it. And they got these, uh, um, the sweets that they sell there is really good too, man. Anyway, man, that's it for me, man. I'll hit you guys back tomorrow with another update. Um, I'll see you there, man. Peace.